Hold him up. Very good. Good size. Good size, bro. Two shots, eh? Oh, I got the first shot. Yeah, it looked like it. Second one looks was like you missed the first second shot. Second one was just a warning shot. He's my slave. Look at him as he does his gate thing. So majestic. <laughs> so caring. What do you have to say? Good day for it. Yep. Not long into it here. Hold this. We just arrived at the hut. Got our gear sorted. We're just going for a wander up the hill. Had some jam sandwiches. Had some jam sandwiches with invisible jam because someone didn't get it. We're not going to mention names. Isaac forgot the jam. Someone. Here we have. Good size wallaby. So we've got a bit of a competition that longest tail wins um, 50 bucks or something. So uh, we cut the tails off and that there is quite a good tail. Um, you can only cut them off there obviously. Some people pretend, you know, <laughs> they're long but just cut that off there. Goes on when we when the roo start moving. See James in here, just trying to flush out this roo. He's got a shotgun, so. Well, they'll probably end up running out here somewhere. <laughs> He's brave games in that gorse. Think we do for a ruse, eh? Oh yeah. It's getting warmer. Having a bit of a sit down. After all that excitement on the gorse. Not really, no. Slow going, eh? Getting sunburnt. and John, my red. and I'm um, looking down to the next, next week of it, and you just pop them as they come out, it's, it's good fun, and then we'll drop onto this next knob here, this one here, and then we'll shoot into the next one, and then so on and so forth. You always get a couple of the scrubby stuff, the only problem is it wrecks your legs and shorts. So I'm back at the hut now. A bit hot. Just chilling out. We don't have anything because all the shops were shut on the way in. So, the other jokers from the huts are going to um, turn up at about, oh they said two but I'm guessing five. And we're going to have a bit of a cook up between everyone. And then Hamish and I are going to walk up, up this ridge here and over. And then circle around and come back down over that way. James and John are still coming, coming down the hill. Yeah. So it's evening now. Can't remember what time it is, six something. So we're just Hamish and I are gonna go for a walk if one else is gone. We had a good snooze all afternoon in the heat of the day. Cause you know it's pretty pointless looking for wallabies and that. James and John are on that face somewhere. Just going over the top. 
Hopefully we're walking up this ridge here. Yeah, up and around. Up and around here. No, either. Yeah, we'll see what we can shoot at. Hopefully there'll be some roos out now because it's getting cold. And then we'll come back for other, cook up another feed or something. And then uh, go spot loan for the rest of the night. Been a wee bit puffed, eh? Just wandered up from the hut. It's up with Reggie and James and John are over there. James and I are just going to have a look into this basin on this side. So it's 8.40 in the evening and uh, old mate here has just spotted a roo down the bottom. He's just going to pop that. Drizzle's coming in. The scopes are getting a bit wet. I didn't bring the cover, which is a bit of a rookie mistake because the cloud does come in here every night. But um, yeah, it's just a wee bit drizzly, but that doesn't matter. The roos are sitting in the drizzle, so it's quite good. Um, about six or seven in that last gorge that we've got the video of him. I don't know what he's shooting at. Hi. Can you see them? Whereabouts? So we're right up in the cloud now. Hang has just popped another two. He's got the tail off one of them. And that cloud's rolling in quite quick. So we're making our way down back to the hut. I'm just going to start around here though. So it's, I don't know, 10.30. Just turn the lights on. Um, we're just going down to the hut, which is way down there. You can't really see it, but uh, yeah, just in there. Hut's up there, Hamish has spotted a roo down there that I'm going to shoot and we'll see how we get on still pumping out the roos got this little little joker here he was running and then just as soon as he stopped he was dead just have a geese at his feet eh look at that they got a really big toe man they can, they can hum eh Two to three. Since I forgot the magazine for the Magnum, there's quite a few on this face down at the hut actually. We'll uh, see how many more we can get. <laughs> Back at the hut now. Time is that clock doesn't work. Um, it's probably about 10 past seven. Seven past ten. Seven past seven. Yeah. Got the old. Solar panel lights down. Get a bit of a cook up. A bit of a chill out. Maybe get a few shells here. This one I dropped off a few years ago. Barn hour one. That steel casing one. So it's just come on 12 o'clock. We've just left the hut. We're doing some spotlighting now. See if we can't get a few roos under spotlight. Spotlight there. It's gonna go to bed, I think. Get up tomorrow and go for a morning walk. And then we're going home in the afternoon. Absolutely love it. Try and make it go higher though. Hold up. Girl. Yeah. Three. Two. One. Well, we just left the hut now. Just going up the hill. Have we shoot? 
see if we can't roll some rocks in, flush out some some roos down here somewhere. Just need to find some rocks to roll down. I'm halfway gone, we fought long enough.